Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. Yes, my trusty phone has succumbed to a sort of smash that could not be protected by the screen protector. Unfortunately, it was crushed. It was actually in the armrest in my car, you know, the sort of center console thing. And uh, I sort of leaned on it and it wasn't in all the way and it just went. So I've ordered a new screen. <clears throat> Excuse me, frog my throat. I've ordered a new screen and I've seen sort of mixed reviews on the success of those. So I thought really there's no, um, nothing to lose at this point while I'm waiting for the new screen to arrive. I'm gonna do a little experiment. So I've uh, replaced my SIM card into my old Blackberry. So that's what I'm using now. And I thought I've got these uh, resins, this Axon Epo Lamb blah, 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 like epoxy. And uh, I thought, why don't we mix up a cup of it and see what epoxy does to these sorts of screens, see if it goes in and fills the cracks and, and whatnot. I don't think it's gonna really give me any trouble when it comes to actually removing the screen later. So, you know, let's just go for it. Let's have a little play. So this is 100 resin to 30 hardener. So you have to have a 30% of the hardener to 100% of this big old thing of resin. You know, you might've seen it in a previous video. It just comes in a big bottle like that. So I'm gonna add, and I've got a syringe here. I'm going to try to uh, work out, mm, smells resiny. Try to get the sort of ratio a bit better. So I'm just gonna squeeze up a blob there and just with one hand try to get it with a syringe, but I have a feeling it's not gonna suck up because it's a bit too viscous. Let's see. No, it did, it worked, it worked. So let's see what we've got in here. So we've got nearly um, three, uh, 30, well, oh, three is that three milliliters? Yeah, three. So we'll just plop that in there. It's hard to see in this light because it's just a blob, blob there of resin. It's not too much. And then we'll just mix that thirty percent up with the hardener. Again, don't put your resiny nozzle into the hardener. That would be a mistake. If you're going to do it, use two syringes. But I'm just going to eyeball it because I think I think I can eyeball this. Shoosh! Sploosh! No, don't eyeball it. <laughs> don't eyeball it. The um, hardener's really watery compared to the actual um, resin. So now I'm going to take out in my syringe the actual hardener and see what I put in. So I ended up putting in a lot, six times more hardener than I needed. So uh, I'm going to administer the correct amount of hardener back in there. I don't know what I'm going to do with this syringe full of it. I'll leave it in the syringe and see what happens to that, see if it actually stays as a hardener. I can't think of anything else I need to harden right now. Mix this up. Again, just going to use the tip of the syringe. We're really, we're doing this quite ghetto now, aren't we? It's like not bothering. It is what it is. I like the uh, hole we're going to measure with a syringe and then just completely fail to uh, do it properly. I could start again though, to be fair. Maybe I ought to. So that may now be a liquid we can use. You can see it's actually really quite clear. Just checking the syringe to make sure we didn't accidentally squirt any more in while we were doing that. No. So it's, it's sort of, it's, it's obviously a lot less viscous than it was. Let's put the syringe aside somewhere. This dirty thing. I'm just going to zoom in. See if I can find a suitable, suitable implement. Ta da! So, if you've got your old epoxy resin kits, you're bound to have some of these. I don't know what you call them, really. They're like the things you used to get with ice cream. So the screen I've already sort of wiped down and got rid of all of these sort of excess bits of glass that were sort of smashed and going everywhere. So this is a very liquidy resin. So I'm gonna to try to see if I can get it on there in a sort of sensible way um, without getting it into the buttons and stuff. So the reason that I think this could work is that if you can get it to sort of settle nicely You'll be able to use the screen without it cutting you up. I don't have a, another glass screen protector. That also would have been a good solution. 
so it doesn't it's it's interesting it's actually not quite sticking to the screen it's the screen is trying to repel it so whatever um, is on a screen and I'm pretty sure this isn't grease I, I kind of cleaned the screen is fighting the uh, resin it doesn't want the resin to to stick to it but that's kind of probably in the design of the screen and I'm keeping it away from the speakers and whatnot the microphone So I just want to get it into this sort of really shattery area, and it might actually it either it will either hinder me or it'll help me when it comes to removing this because it'll just sort of keep all those little bits of glass glued together. So you saw I did this with sort of super glue before, but the problem with super glue is it it dries kind of white, goes all sort of cloudy, whereas this should stay crystal clear. Right, looks like a big old mess to me. Oh, I can actually see the camera now. The camera was really uh, obfuscated. See this corner, but now the but now because the sort of resin sort of gone into all the cracks, it's really um, started to sort of become visible again. Sort of not as cloudy as it was. So the resin really is getting into these. Um, sort of nooks and crannies through capillary action. So I'm just going to run it again up and down. So you can kind of hear it every now and then a sort of crunch where it's sort of hitting a bit of protruding glass. So I'm just going to let that soak for a couple of minutes and then I'll just probably wipe off the excess I think and then just see how it cures. See you back in a sec. The resin's been on there a little while. It's starting to actually get a bit firmer, so I've got to decide now what I'm going to do. I don't think I can sort of get it over everything like a sort of glassy sheen, so I'm probably going to just start wiping it up, um, sort of working it into this last little bit where the glass has actually fallen out. Um, so yeah, I've got a bit of uh, blue roll, so I'm going to see what that does. I should would have preferred something, you know, lint-free. Just got a little bit in the sort of speaker there. We'll, we'll just try wiping it. Let's see what happens. I'm going to roll it up into a little, like a puff. It does wipe. Ah! <laughs> the phone's gone disco on me. So there we go. Just pop that back in there. Get some more. It actually does already kind of feel a bit smoother. I don't because I, because it's sort of gone into all the cracks. I think I'll be quite happy if it just dries like that. It's just got a nice um, there. got a sort of nice smooth finish now where it's just gone into all those things all the sort of gaps on there one more pass I think just to, as a polish but I don't want to overdo it because I might just start start making it matte yeah I think that's that's gonna work <sighs> you can see <sighs> there are sort of slight streaks in that but I think I'll buff it out after it's dry because if you buff it too much you'll take out the uh, resin we've put in just sort of that little bit here, just to sort of zoom in a bit there, you can see there's a sort of slight hole where we had some missing stuff. We have filled it a bit, but um, it sort of has soaked in again. So I'm sort of kind of reluctant to do it in case we're filling a structure underneath with something that we don't, like we you know we're filling the camera. I'm just going to put one little bit more in here though, let that see what happens with it. Yeah, not much to lose really, because if it doesn't work, we're going to have to replace the screen anyway. Yeah, so we'll leave that for an hour or so just to sort of fully cure and then uh, have a little play with it. It's had its uh, time to cure now, and you can see it actually came up pretty well, really. It's, it's a decent uh, shine. Now, I have to say, it didn't draw into the uh, cracks as much as I had hoped. You know, really, didn't sort of capillary in and fill those up, obviously a little bit. But what I do notice, when I rub my finger on it, it's actually really smooth. 
It's just a slight feeling. Like here, I can feel it here. It's particularly bad, something under finger, but it's not got that sharp, cutty feel now down here. I mean, you're still going to probably wear away your fingertip using this, but uh, yeah, it might just be a viable option if you're stuck and you just need your phone to be sort of semi salvage to just get you to the end of the month sort of thing till payday so you can get a, a screen replaced then uh, yeah give it a go i'm waiting for my screen to come in the post and when it does i'm gonna attempt to get this off and fix it but uh, we have tried to do these uh, nexus six nexus six i sixes before uh, and uh, yeah they've been a little bit tricky to be honest with you but we'll see let's have a go hope that's been of some use to you please like comment and subscribe and as ever thank you for watching